What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Mind Body Attraction. In this wonderful episode, we're going to talk about uh, social media is killing the killing attraction. So every single coaching call, oh, I ninety nine percent of all the coaching calls I have done were. A problem that they all had, the common occurrence, the common denominator for a lot of the problems that they were suffering from was too much social media. And I'll explain what I mean by that. See, when you're dating somebody, you have a lot of access to your partner. They're in your pocket, technically. They can You can reach out to them at any time. You can completely kill attraction by doing this as well. So you can message them anytime, you can you can call them, you can text them, you can FaceTime now. They don't even they can see your face from anywhere in the world. Now, where this is great technology, it really is, but it's completely fucking up attraction. In the coaching calls that I was telling you guys about a little bit earlier, I was literally so baffled by how many of these guys suffer from this problem. So a lot of it was Instagram, a lot of it was FaceTime and uh, like video chatting, like Snapchat and shit like that, and then texting. And I said, look, look, like you guys can clean up half of your, half of the shit that you guys are suffering from just by fucking closing your social media. Just close it, okay? I'll give you guys a bit of a strategy. If you're dating somebody, when that person messages you, the girl, when she messages you, say she messages you a couple times during the day. Say she messages like three times, okay? Only send one text back. Have her message you more than you message her back. But when you do message her back, you give it a little bit of time. Don't just instantly message her back. Be like, oh my God, like you're holding your phone waiting for her to message you. Give it some time, but but let her message you more um, than you message her because that's going to create this Uh, idea that you're a busy man and she just can't have your time whenever she feels like having your time. Okay. When you message her, it'll take her a little bit of time to get used to this, but when you message her, just keep it short, keep it concise, keep it um, uh, clean. You know what I mean? Just keep it tight. Don't start fucking telling her shit about your day over text message. Have her see you, have her, have her, you know, have her work for that information, okay? And then what you can do is you can use the phone to set a date, like a business transaction. Use the phone to set a date with her and be like, hey, uh, what are you doing this week? Oh, you're free on Friday, cool. Let's meet on Friday. And then boom, you get the fuck off the phone. And what's actually happening a lot of the times is people will actually assume that if you don't message them, that you're gonna flake. That's weak. If you're real, you'll hold up to your plans. And if you don't, can't keep your plans, you you reschedule your plans. Pretty much every single coaching call that I had, like I said, the problems could have been prevented from just staying the fuck off social media and just seeing each other in person. Now, long distance relationships have a bit of a different thing here, okay? Long distance relationships, you see each other a lot less, so. Um, so using FaceTime and using WhatsApp and using texting is something that is a dynamic in your relationship. And you guys have to use that to see each other. That's fine. But you keep the same rules as you would, as if you're going to see them in person. So what you do, if you're in a long term, long distance relationship is you set a date where you guys are going to have a Skype date. Okay. And then you hold to the Skype date. And then when you hold to the Skype date, that's when you can pour out all of the rest of the week that you had if she asks you about it. Um, And then just keep on hyping up the time that you are going to actually see each other. Uh, It's going to create sexual tension. Okay. Long distance relationships are tough already. So this will be hard, but you have to have the balls and the strength to do it. Okay. Social media is completely ruining the attraction just because they always know where you are. They always know how your day went. And then when you come home, what the fuck do you have to talk about? It's boring and no wonder females are getting so bored of men, of weak men, because weak men are the ones that are like, oh, like, uh, uh, oh my God, like my boss was treating me like crap today. And, uh, uh, you know, I was talking to my friend Jeff and he was like, you know, to see, looking at this girl and it's like, yo, stop. Like you talk about this kind of stuff with your boys and your, and your, and your friends and your family. You don't talk about me. Don't tell your partner every single little minute detail of your day over text message. Make a date and stick to the date 
And when you stick to the date, that's when you guys can talk. And what the fuck? You guys will have shit to talk about. Isn't that fucking weird? So make sure you guys are doing that, okay? I know I sound condescending saying stuff like that, but that's not how I mean to be. It's just use your common sense, okay? So if we think about it, go back like go back like fifth, like 50 years, okay? Uh, 70s, oh my God. Wow, I'm getting, getting old very quickly. So the I, I, let's talk about the 50s and 60s, okay? Actually, just before technology, people just made dates more before technology came in. But back then, things were different. The man went out and worked and the woman was a housewife back then, okay? The attraction between them was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't see it firsthand. Imagine how much of a different relationship you would have if you barely saw each other. Chris Rock mentions this in his stand up comedy routine called Tambourine. He said, I don't remember the words, like, I don't remember everything, uh, like, word for word, but what he said was, I think it was his father and his mother, or his grandfather and his grandmother. He would go to work at five in the morning and come back home at 8 30 and 9 p.m. She wouldn't see him all day they wouldn't they would have the time to miss each other okay and they would have the time to think about each other to wonder about each other what he's doing what she's doing and they were married for their almost their entire like lives or something like that that's how you keep a spark going is by staying the because you got to spend your entire life with somebody they can't know what you're doing at all times you have to leave some mystery there to leave some sort of something to discover okay Human beings, we get bored easily and we want something exciting to happen. So if you're constantly talking to your spouse or your significant other or your girlfriend, whatever, just cut it back, cut it back by 50% and see the, see the results. She might freak out a little bit at first. They might freak out a little bit at first, right? But what's going to happen is it's going to create this. You just be like, look, I just want, you can literally just say, and if they don't agree with you, just be like, this is the way I want it to be. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, just be like, look, I just want to stay off the phone as my, I, you know, I, I'm on the phone too much. I want to kind of cut back on my phone, my phone use. Um, and, and instead of being like, instead of texting all the time, I'd rather see you in person, but you can come off nice. You can say it like, I'd rather, you know, I, you know what? I'd rather talk about this in person with you. And what's going to happen is a lot of weak men, I've seen guys do this. A lot of weak men will actually say, what's wrong? What's going on? Oh, oh, and they get upset, right? And it's like, no, 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 like nothing's, you could be like, nothing's wrong. Cause this is something that a lot of men are going to do. Cause they're going to freak out and think that their girlfriend's cheating on them. You just got to be like, look, the, the, the girls and guys, whoever's doing this have to just say, look, I just want to talk about this in person and stick to the guns and don't text. Okay. And it's going to create this awesome a tr like bubble of, of interest. Okay. And the bubble of interest is going to have things to talk about. Uh, how was your boss this week? If your boss is an asshole, uh, how were your friends this week? Did you see your friends? Um, how's your business going? How was work going? You're going to have shit to talk about and then you're going to get, f you're going to have so much, so much more attraction for this person. Okay. Social media really is killing uh, attraction and we need to stop it. It's a fucking plague. Um, people don't always need to be knowing what you're doing because really nobody really cares. Like the only people that care are your significant other and they don't really care that much what you're doing all the time. They just, they just want to know that you're, that you're there. Like it's come on. Like, and only, and if you really do care what the other person is doing that much, you need to reevaluate your life and you need to start doing some shit in your life. That's that's fun and exciting and that you can do that you can keep your focus on. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I will talk to you later. Join the email list. Follow me on my Facebook page. Uh, just my name, Kyle Johnson. Um, and join the powerful relationships group. If you'd like, nothing's going on too much right there yet. Um, but eventually I'm going to keep, keep, get it going. Um, and you can add me on Snapchat and all that. Everything will be down below that you need to do. Okay. So, do that. And if you need any help um, figuring out if your relationship is suffering from a social media disaster, I can just analyze what you've been doing and I can help you have a plan. So if they start freaking out, I can help you figure that out and make sure that you know what to do in case shit is a fan, right? Book a call with me to do that and or send me an email. Okay, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.